when you just talk about our summer and all the state parks we've been to and kind of just talk. So we maybe do like a wrap up video of all them. Oh, all right. Welcome to Zephyr's Travels, I'm Randy and this is Diane and we are wrapping up our summer of camping local. This summer we stayed at seven state parks in the uh, Finger Lakes and Western New York area and we want to just kind of wrap up and talk about what we liked about them and some of our favorites and you know I don't think there was one we didn't like so I wouldn't say there's uh, one that we would say to avoid but I think some were just better than others. Yeah, yeah I think so. Um, they all, you know, they offered, each one had a, you know, uniqueness about it. Yeah. Some had more activities to do and, um, local places to visit. And, yeah, I think so, there, there was a, probably, uh, a, a handful of parks that really stood out. I think there was a couple that were a little bit of a surprise. And then there were ones that were just okay. You know. We're at Lakeside Beach State Park and it is on Lake Ontario, just north of Albion, New York. Lakeside surprised me. I think it was a lot nicer there than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. um, and. Probably the thing with lake size is you you look at it and you go where well, there's really there's not swimming it's on Lake Ontario but there's not swimming there at the park and so you kind of question is there really a lot to do at that park but it's just such a nice park and you know the the farmland and everything outside of the park area was was what really you know made it enjoyable right right yeah. and um, they do have a lot of sites that have a ton of shade a lot of trees. And then they have other sites that are, they have a little shade. Yeah, or a little bit more open. Right, um, right. Which yeah. made it nice because the weekend we were there, if we, was, were, if we were in the shade, it would have been cool. Right. And the sun, in the open sites was very sunny for us, so it was, right. made it very enjoyable. Right. Um, and they also offer pet loops and no pet loops. Probably, I don't know, do most state parks do that? No, no. Um, that's lakes or um, Lakeside and Letchworth are the only two that we know of that do uh, pet loops. No, oh, okay. There are all the other parks we've been to, you can have pets in any loop. Between Sampson and Letchworth were the next two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time, many years since we've been camping at either one. And um, yeah, each one, each one was nice. We're at Sampson State Park which is located right outside of Geneva, New York on Seneca Lake. So let's talk about Samson first. Samson was really nice. One of the things was the World War II Museum that right. they had there about the park and how it was used as a naval training base and, and then you know the history which was really unique um, that something you know we'd been to that park before but never was able to know that history. So that was pretty nice. 
Then there's, you know, there's access to the lake right there. You're on the Finger Lakes, which is always a plus, mm -hmm. you know, and campsites were very good, very good size. Um, biking, because it's a park, is fairly large, and so there's a lot of biking in there. Right. Um, so I think Samson, you know, has a lot going for it. Yeah, and Sam, I mean, it's in, where is it? It's on um, Seneca Sen Lake, Seneca just Lake. south of Geneva. Right. Kind of right you know, it's another nice thing, because it's, it's in a good area. It's, be, it's right between Geneva and Watkins Glen, so you can easily drive down to Watkins Glen for a day. Um, you could go up and around Geneva area. You know, there's a lot of things nearby there outside the park to do too. That area is known for its wineries as well. Yeah. So if you get down around Watkins Glen, um, well, the whole Finger Lakes area. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of wineries, you know, and they do have wineries that have restaurants there, and you know, of course, you can taste and buy the wine. Yep. So, and it's a nice place if you. Um, we have stayed there. Many years ago, when uh, we would go to Watkins Glen um, Raceway. Watkins yeah, Glen yeah, Watkins Glen International Raceway is right. right there, and it's a good place to stay if you can get a reservation in there during a race weekend, um, because it's not a bad drive down to the racetrack. It's probably 20 minutes. Right, right, and we have we have done that. Yep. So um, we're at Letchworth, and we're going to check out the fall colors. And right now, this week, we've been staying at Letchworth State Park, which is in between Perry, New York, and Mount Morris. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. And yeah. this is a, another very nice park. Like I said, it's kind of tied between Sampson and and um, Letchworth is for second place for the parks. It's, but it's probably the largest park. This is probably the largest state park in this area of the state. Um, you know, we'll find out someday if we go to another park that's bigger. Right. But right. you know, it's 17 miles from one end to the other. Um, there's a they call it the Grand Canyon of the East. East. It's not really a Grand Canyon size, but it, it is a big right canyon. Right. Um, waterfalls, right. three waterfalls here. Um, a ton of hiking trails. A lot to do at this park. Right. Right. And um, a lot of activities if you have children. Yep. Uh, they do offer a lot of uh, different camping. I mean, if they do, not a lot, but they have um, loops if you have animal pets. And they do have no uh, pet, pet, pet areas. areas, too. Yeah. I mean, we have pets. Uh, right. <laughs> we, we have Zephyr and Monty, and Monty is, I don't know looking at a squirrel or something yeah so uh he's he's distracted yep but this is uh this is a very nice state park as well right but the the next ones are all kind of going to be in the same group right and and that would be lake erie uh, golden hill and Cayuga. yeah um they all have something different um, they're all smaller parks for one thing you know, they don't have the extra amenities that some of these other parks have. I think Cayuga was probably really nice because it was on Lake Cayuga and it did have a beach area and swimming. Right. And they did have a boat launch. They had a boat launch and we were able to go kayaking it on the lake. Right. And the other thing I think that was kind of nice about that park was the fact that it kind of fit right in with all the cottages along the lake. And so you really felt like you're part of the lake life, you know, hanging out there at the lake. Right. It's kind of a... Uh, place where people spend their summers. Let's talk about Golden Hill. Golden Hill was nice. It's not a, it's not a very big state park, but they do have a lighthouse there, which you can take tours of on the weekend. And they don't offer cabins, but they have yurts. 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 Yep. Yeah. If you're it's not familiar with what a yurt is, which I wasn't, it looks like a tent. A tent. But it's, um, I would think it would be better. I mean, it's. Yeah. It's probably it's more, it's more st structural than a tent. Right, right. Yeah, it's like a round tent, I guess. Which, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I'm sure you know what a yurt is. 
Huh. Kind of well, new to you, us. If you're into camping, you, you may. I, right. I don't know. I didn't know what one was. Golden Hill's nice. They do have a marina there, so you can get out on the lake. They don't have swimming at the no. at the park. The lighthouse that you talked about is pretty nice, and it's only a dollar for the tour. Right. A and dollar for adults and 50 cents for children, and they do have tour guides, and it's quite interesting to go through. Lake Erie. Lake Erie State Park was new to us. We found out about it, even though we had grown up around the Buffalo area. I, I had never heard of it, and neither right. did Randy. But it's a state park which is south of Buffalo, right off the New York State Thruway, or not yeah, far from Yeah, there. just right, you get off at the Dunkirk exit off of the New right. York State Thruway. For Fredonia Dunkirk. Yep. There wasn't a ton of stuff to do, but the sites are very nice, and they do have sites that back up right to Lake Erie, which yeah, was that's very the, nice. That's the tip. You want to get one of the sites that backs up to the buff. If you can get that, the sunset views are awesome. Right. Um, you're going to want to park your lawn chairs there, on the buff and watch the sunset over the lake. It's, right. That's what the park is best for. Right. And um, you can go into Dunkirk. They do have a very nice pier there, which yeah. you can walk along. There's a, you know, a couple of restaurants, a couple little shops you can go into. Um, and like I said, you, if you're into fishing, you can fish off the pier. Yeah. There's a nice uh, public boat launch there. Yeah. And it's also that section along Lake Erie is also noted for wine. It's kind of a newer wine area, but uh, so there's a few wineries between there and Erie, Pennsylvania. Right, right. Worth checking out. Right. And you're not so this week we're visiting and camping at Green Lake State Park, which is. It's east of Syracuse in Fayetteville, New York, and it is a fantastic state park. It's one of the nicest ones we've been to so far this, this summer. That really stood out was Green Lake. I think that was probably the nicest of the state parks. Um, you know, you first of all you had that the, the, those very unique lakes with the real turquoise green color. But what's unique about this lake is that it's a Miramedic lake, and that says that the different layers of the water do not intermix. And so this lower section here is full of minerals like salt and such that's heavier and denser and stays down at the bottom and then you have a clear section at the top and normally a lake will intermix with wind and other environmental things on it but because this lake is has steep cliffs around it and it's kind of low it doesn't get affected by the wind so these sections of the lake never really change and that's one of the reasons why they don't want you to bring your own kayaks, or they don't want you to bring anything into this lake that would contaminate it. Right, and it had a, a huge and very nice beach area. Yeah. And um, in normal summers, you could rent kayaks and uh, boats. They... Kayaks and I think they had rowboats or something. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And um, uh, the hiking and beautiful right. trails all the way around the lake, and they weren't really long hikes. No. Um, you could do that. Biking was really good right there because of the canal across the um, outside the park that you could ride along the canal path. Right, right. So we took advantage of that. The campground was really nice. The sites were fairly spacious. Yeah. Yep. And they all backed right up to the hiking trails, which was nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that was a that was a nice one, and not too far. It's just the other side of Syracuse, New York. So really wasn't a long drive for us. We just took the throughway. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't so too bad. It wasn't that far at all. Right. Yeah. Well, I think that wraps up our review of our summer of Camping Local and the New York State uh, parks that we've been to. Right. And we may have to do it again next summer. Yeah, so and if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments. We want to know. Right. If you have a favorite park that's located in New York State, we certainly welcome your comments and any recommendations. And, um, you know, even if we're not in the current situation, we may decide to do it again next summer. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We enjoyed it. We could probably, a lot more we can see. Oh, I'm so, sure. If you're new to our channel, what should they do? Subscribe to our channel, Zephyr's Travels. That's right. And hit the bell for notification so that you know when we post new videos. We post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you follow along in our journey. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Right. And until the next time. We will see you on our next trip. <laughs> we'll see you down the road, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye.